Boy Scoop Boop back again. Getting ready to start on another project. Alright, so what I'm getting ready to try to work on a project is <clears throat> I saw this one video by I think his name is Jabrilis on YouTube and he made a game where the lights flash back and forth like this. And then you got two buttons on the sides that will uh, when you click it, it'll stop it. It'll make it stop. And then when you click the other side, same thing. Same thing applies. So I'm going to put my own little mix to it. And what you want to do is stop it on the green light. If you're on this side and then vice versa, if you're on the other side, stop this one. But the way I'm going to do it is put a... Uh, like a little bullseye right here in the middle if you manage to hit the bullseye you know you get extra points and stuff so uh, that's where I'm at with that I'm currently doing a little s schematic on what is it tinkercad um, dot com <clears throat> doing a little schematic you ready to write up some code to see how this is going to work uh, it's pretty dope how this works it actually simulates what your um, project is going to do so I think that's pretty tight so that's where I'm at right now I'm just trying to was trying to figure out what kind of resistors I was going to need I got a bag full of trinkets and stuff in here so I should be perfectly fine got some more breadboards right there so just probably what I'm going to do is just simulate what the code is going to do first before I actually try to start attaching pieces and stuff to the actual breadboard. I want to kind of figure it out here before I move over to the actual thing. So it probably saved me some time. And then I can actually just read the schematic and plug and play everything. But yep, that is where I'm at. I'll catch you guys in a few. Alright, back again with another quick update. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm running, I've updated the schematic for the Arduino game. I've now added a button in, just trying to figure out how the button functions and stuff as far as that goes. So I've now managed to place it, so I'm just going to run the simulator really quick. <clears throat> so the way that it works is you push the button, and I believe what happens is when you press the button... Uh, this red line connects to the green line which will run back to the Arduino so whenever you press it the LED should light up as you can see in the left and then when you let it go the connection is broken so that is where I'm at for right now uh, the next thing I need to do is figure out how to flash the lights back and forth and then uh, when the user presses the button, uh, it'll stop on that particular last, on that last light that was lighting up. So, yep. Yeah. Alright, back again. <clears throat> so after about, let's say, an hour and a half of brain farts, finally figured out how to get... Get the LED to stop when the button is pressed. So, as we can see, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it as it goes now. So, start the simulation. So, when you press the button here, uh, the LED that was last selected should stop for about, I want to say, uh, what did I, anyway, if you press the button, uh, yep, yeah, it stops or pauses for a little bit to know that to show you what color you landed on so yeah that is currently where I'm at right now <sighs> well I'm gonna keep on working about this um, this is supposedly called the cyclone game you it's usually a disc or the LEDs are in a circular form where you can 
where you have to land in a certain zone so I'm just doing it in a straight line version instead alrighty then